The next thing that we're going to go over is our labeling procedures. Labeling is very important because labeling tells you what the bacteria is, what the media is, who owns the media, and when it was inoculated. Labeling for plates is done on the bottom of the petri dish. We'll flip it upside down along the edge here. I personally like to use fine tip sharpies, so we're going to be using this. Since this is a mannitol salt plate, we're going to say that we're going to hit this mannitol salt plate with some uh, Staphylococcus species. Let's go Staph aureus. Staph aureus is a nice one. So we start on the left side with the genus and species. I am right-handed, so if it takes a bit of looking, sorry. Move some of this condensation. Today's date. <coughs> and here's a fully labeled plate. Um, let's break down exactly what's on a fully labeled plate. Our genus, species, your initial, media type, date of inoculation, and incubation temp. These are the things that go on a typical plate. Early on in the semester, we'll be using triptych soy auger. And as part of using that, we might allow you, well, we will allow you to see uh, possibly for your isolation streaks. If you're in nursing, it's a T. If you're in majors, it's a, uh, a quad streak. You will be able to label the quadrants at that time. But by the end of the semester, the only labeling you should have is your genus, species, initial, media type, the date, incubation temperature. In some cases, specifically when we're using streptococcus species, you might have this added in there. Uh, and that's for any additional chemicals. Streptococcus species like carbon dioxide. Now I also have off to the side here some other types of media. Let's start with this. This is a nutrient gel deep. And when we're ladling a deep with uh, some of this. When we're labeling a deep and we're labeling a test tube, whatever your dominant hand is, your writing hand has your utensil. Whatever is not has the test tube. First things first, you want to put species. Usually on a test tube, this is a two letter, with the first one being genus, species. So Staphylococcus aureus. date. Media type, in this case it's nutrient gel, so it's not G. Your initials, and then incubation temp. Notice how this, it's on the top of the lip, just under the cap.
Here's another. This is a broth. This is sucrose fermentation broth. Same thing as before. Staphylococcus aureus, or SA, at the top. Then the date, which is 6 January 2021. Followed then by the media type. This is sucrose, so SUC. Followed by your initial and temperature. Again, just below the cap.